Well, good morning guys. We're back out again. We're at Tunstall. It's changed again, look at that. I was only here about a month ago, I mean look at it. It's completely changed again. They said all the clays reappeared and everything. Beach is all washed out. Lots of sand vanished. Sea conditions look good for cod and that. Might get the old bass in there. I don't know whether it's holding its first cast, but conditions look good, it's not raining. About five or six mile an hour wind, it's now. Uh, conditions look ideal, really. It's just whether there's any fish going to come out to play. But obviously, it's bottom water, so as the tide comes in, uh, conditions will get better, even. So it's looking good. I'm going to leave you on the rods for a little bit. Uh, see how we're getting on. You never know. I'm not late for getting a bait first cast. We've got the old fart machine Danny here, give him a wave Danny. He's got his rod out. We've only got one rod out at the moment because I obviously want to see what the weed's like, whether it's holding or not. It's always a drenched. But uh, conditions look good for a cod anyway, so we'll get one. Looks like it's a bit of pull to the right. Looks like it's a fair bit of pull to the right. I cast about 10 o'clock, I'm at about between 2 and 3. So it's pulled a lot to the right. You what? Yeah, I know. Obviously, we've got to make sure we don't get cut off on here, fellas, because look, the car's creeping in behind us because we're on a bank. So, uh, got to be careful, we don't get cut off. So I'll keep an eye on the trap because it does fill in pretty quick here. But that has uh, crept up behind us. Just keep an eye on the tide at your side, make sure we don't get stuck here. It's just, this is about two or three feet higher than the rest. As soon as it goes over the crown with this, it will fill behind us. I'm in the shallows, I think, in all that white water over there. So you never know, I might just pull a nice pass in. Ooh, ooh, did I just get a bite there? See that? Look at it go. Could have a bass. Just keep an eye out. Might have a bass here, guys. Because I'm only close in. I was a long way out, but obviously it's drifted a lot. Fighting man could be a bass. That's coming in fast behind us. Make sure we don't get cut off. Yeah, it's building up there as well. Just keep an eye on that side behind us. I'm going to pull this in a minute because. Uh, it was my first cast anyway, and I've got a feeling I might have a fish. Where are you, Danny? Well, you drifted a long way. See, I don't mind being in that white water, really. I've got big, big baits on today, we've got four rows on. Um, Sakuma Pros I'm using today. I think they're 5.45s. Five not sure what, but I'll check shortly. Um, really sharp hooks. I'm just going to bring this guy because I, I might have a fish on that. It's bounced a few times and uh, one never knows. So let me pull it in. It's right over there though, so it might have just drifted in. So one way out though, for it. I'm 
gassed up that track, Mercy Ham. Guys, uh, got a phone call and uh, couldn't get back to the camera. But uh, there was nothing on there. It was just the first cast job. You know what I mean? Um, to be fair, I think I banged it out too far. First cast. I nearly emptied the spool. Uh, granted, a lot of that was pulled to the right, but uh, I really did knock it out a long way. So I've got a uh, got an helping hand with the wind today. It's a south. It's a northwesterly, I do believe. And. Uh, it's right on my back really, oh, run from the left to the right, so that's what it feels like anyway. But uh what can you say? It looked like a bike, did it? Where are you, are you doing yoga? Using big baits today. I've got squid and cart on. Squid and cart, big bait. Uh, let's hope we get a, a nice fish here. Sorry, cat, cat, cat. I'm not gonna go for a I've also got there uh, today. Today I've also got interchangeable hooks. So that I can change the hook on the panel. To uh, a longer size if I want or a shorter size. I've done four or five different lengths, ranging from two feet to about 12 inches. So it gives us an extra bit of uh, bit of length depending on the water like.
10 o'clock this time. Uh, looks like it's holding a bit better. Whether it does or not, it's a bit temperamental this braid really. I do like braid but, you know, sometimes it gives easy. But, uh, we'll see. It might not hold yet, it might be just a bit too low tide. There's a lot of running water coming in but I'm on 6 ounce at the moment. It swells about 3 feet, 4 feet at the most. I thought so we've held this time. Danny, you want to be casting right over there, about 10 o'clock. And I mean right over there, point to 10 o'clock with your body. Because it looks like it's holding at 10. Man's just swung round just past 12 now, so it's all right. Whether it's a bit early to get a, to get a fish, we don't know, but at the end of the day, I'm out. I've got sand under my feet. What's that? <laughs> sand. There's Danny sorting his big bait rig out. He's on a panel as well with big baits. Um, interchangeable, same as me. I did a load of rigs last night because, uh, you know, I didn't know what the, what it's going to be like here, whether it's going to be deep, shallow or what. So I just made the panels different, but panel changeable rigs different uh, lengths of ups. So I've basically made five panels and five different lengths of interchangeable hook on. So I can just clip the hook off and on. Or I can even bait another hook up and leave it dangling on the gear. And then when I bring it in, I can just unclip the other hook, clip that hook on, and Bob's your uncle. We've got another bait ready to roll. But I made all my uh, wraps up last night, the uh, squid and cart wraps. Packed them all really nice and tight, gave a few jabs with the old uh, knife and then I froze them. So they're going out there frozen, so obviously they're defrosting in the water and then it's letting the juice run. It's still drifting to the right, but I mean it's holding for 5 or 10 minutes, so... <clears throat> Make sure you're not wrapped on the top eye, you want to need a bit more line off on there. You need about that much more line off. That one over foot. A couple of turns. Don't take your bail arm off. Clip your leg, leg it'll only hit the floor. No, 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 you never do that, undo your clip. That's it, go on. Never take your bail arm off. Don't ever take your bail arm off unless you've cast it. Remember, right over there, walk that way a bit and then cast over there. Just watching this, look at it, the water's caught us and it's also a correct in the hand, it's like putting it carefully because it's coming in all around. So I don't want to get stuck here. So I'm going to have to move for now fellas, I'm going to turn the camera off just so I can get this, this gear moved before I get uh, stuck on this freaking sandbank. Or uh, the bad news. <laughs> just watch Danny cast out. Right in the distance. I told him to cast at 10 o'clock, get his body pointing in at 10. I'll tell you what, he's getting good at his casting. I mean, considering the lad's only been fishing two or three months, I mean, he's really picked up well. Getting used to his own rod and that. You know, he's, he's fishing really well now. Spot on. You're keeping your hand on the line, aren't you? You need to keep your hand, the line on your hand, on the rod, so it comes off too quick. You should let too much out. You know when you're walking back to the beach? <coughs> I 
the back is supposed to be semi waterproof, but they're not. Right, I'll be back. If there's any action on these rods, or I've moved camp, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're back. But uh, just I moved all the gear and got set back up again. Along comes the time, it's caught us already. Have to move again. I must remember to say, so Gary's last watching my video the other night. Gary turned up by the way. Watching my video the night his last said I keep saying fellas. So in future it's fellets for the time being. So it's fellas and fellets. Might even get Gary saying it, you never know. Just move back a bit further because that town's bloody catching us real quick. I'm hoping to catch that big 20 pound cod live on camera. That Jack Danny's enjoying himself with his new rod. Well, rod, so he's only got one out at the moment, but he's enjoying himself. First time he's had the freedom to cast him on the beach. So it's looking really good. I thought he had a bite actually while he was gone. Uh, I've got a slack liner, but I think the lead just let go. But uh, you never know, do you? It's coming in really, really fast. You know, so you know, so to move that it's it's on your look. It's coming in now. I've drifted to about two o'clock now, so I'll pull in in a minute before Gary casts. Gary just setting his gear up. Lovely beaches to fish, though. I mean, I like fishing here, but it changes from week one week to the next, so you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful that. Uh, you don't get stuck on it because you it's not sand man. It's early on I got a chance for once. Might go crafty bass in the uh, in the surf, because it's a bit surf at the moment because obviously it's flat it's a uh, flat beach this bit. But as we get further back in the next half an hour or so that white water will drop off and there'll just be uh, the swell coming in. Hopefully. So I'll be back if I get any action. Well, it's Jimmy Attenborough back out on uh, Sam Lovia Beach. I think I've got a bite. Just look at that. It might be one of them rare, rare addicts you don't know. Look at it go. It's off like the clappers. I 
have one of them Fakawi fish. Where the Fakawi, yeah? How we fish, fellas. It's all good. back a little bit I've moved another 10 yards or so well, it doesn't look like it's a bite so I'll be back uh, I want to see some action right we're back fellas just about to cast out uh, switch baits down to black lug so fresh black lug so let's see what happens you know it either does or it doesn't Not that one until next Christmas, so hopefully. Might get a fish. Oh, let's have a little sit down. It's all good. Uh, so it's nice to be back out on the beach. You know, I don't like fishing mackerel and stuff, but I mean, it's. The river's dead at the moment, so. You know, you need to be where the fish are. <laughs> Up to now the fish are here, but I mean, you're not going to know that until you fish it, are you? At the end of the day, the fish is, uh, the fish go where they want to go. I mean, it does fish well here, and a lot of times, as you know, I've had some good sessions here. I've had some cracking cod sessions here last year. Uh, but I must say that all the cod sessions I've had here have been on the night, not during the day, so maybe it fishes better on the night, I don't know, but. Uh, you still expect to get some good fish, wouldn't you? Now, whether we do or not, it doesn't matter. But, uh, there's Danny bringing his in. Gary at the other end, there's another angler just turned up. Uh, it's coming pretty quick now, because look, that's where we are now. And uh, going pretty, pretty quick. Get you on them rods. Go on, go on. I can't say I get you on the rods because I've only got one out. I've got black lug on now, as I say. You don't know, I might, I might start biting on black angle or club, but. You've got to win it to win it, haven't you? It is fresh black lug as well, they look decent, so let's see if they do the job.
I swapped my weight as well, I've got a, a long shaft one on now, but this one holding. It was sort of rolling in the tide, so I, I've put a long shaft one on, it seems to be holding a bit better. But uh, we'll see. There's some big juicy waves coming in now, look at these fellas. Look at them. The crack of the waves coming in now, it's probably got to about four foot. And maybe, I might, might be underestimating it, it's probably about like half foot. But, uh, because the beach is pretty steep at this point. Got some steep part of the beach, I would say, so. But we're out, that's the main thing. We're out and we're uh, enjoying ourselves. It's been an adventure already. I don't think this is going to hold actually, I think I might have just spun it out too far. I might try a shorter cast, it's uh, trying to pagger it past that last breaker, but I mean it's, it's a bit too far out really. Um, probably better off casting a bit short, maybe about 70 metres or something. We'll see anyway, we'll, we'll see how long this lasts. Well, I've already pulled over well to the right once and got tangled with Gary, luckily it, uh, <coughs> it was just over him. So, you know, it's not a problem. But, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quiet at the moment. Certainly, there's not much happening. So there's some bloody big swells coming in now, but I think they'll get bigger as the tide comes in because it's coming from flats are steep, so obviously the beach will get steeper, the water will be deeper, and uh, you know, I think Gary might have got a bite here, he's got off his, uh, his box. <coughs> Has Gary got a bite? I think Gary's one gone to Black Love as well. I think Gary's just got a bite. I think so, yeah. I'm just switching out the wrong so it's not great now. What am I? No, I think. Laughing. What, yours is on the other side? The other side. How come? It's just because I'm right handed, aren't I? It's easier. Well, I'm right handed. Gary ain't got me, has he? Yours is on the I keep going that way. I think Gary's pulled me in. He can't have pulled me in, I'm straight straight. <laughs> What's he got you? Yeah, I can't see how good. What the hell's that? I can't see how good. I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have that.
yeah, it's a bit of pull to the right quite quick now. Back out, fellas, just got tangled with Gary, but it's not our fault, like he's we're pretty close together and uh, it's pulling really badly. So I'll be back if there's any more action. Right, I'm back, fellas. I brought my gear in at the moment. Oh, and fell out. <laughs> I brought my gear back in at the moment, and we all have because uh, it's unfishable at the moment. There's uh, eight and nine sets of rollers coming in, and it's uh, white water for quite a while, and it's impossible to hold out. I've tried every lead known to man, and it will not hold. It's in within 30 seconds of casting it, so. Yeah, at the moment, uh, that's what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, it's uh, just awful. Just kind of holding it, eight ounce, six ounce, anything it won't hold. So it's just rolling your lead up like a spool on your lead, you know, all your land. Going around your lead about 70 times, it's like a bloody fishing reel. It's uh, just will not hold. So I'm just going to wait it out a little bit. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go because the weather's pretty I'm back, we've abruptly cut off, the battery's just died. <laughs> I don't know why, it was pretty full when I put it on. Uh, as I said, the, uh, the white water's a bit terrible at the moment, it's just not holding, it's just rolling back in. But uh, I'm not going to rush, as I said, I'm going to wait. I'll let you have a look at the, the, the conditions at the moment. I mean, there's four or five foot swells, yeah. Uh, but that's now, it's the fact that it's just rolling in all the time. Just, you know, and we're here, look at, look at the state what we're in now, this is what we're in now. Uh, all the way across garage just you know, I mean, I mean within the rocks now, I mean, I couldn't fish much longer anyway because I won't get my land past them if I had a fish, I'm going to get my land back in I'm over all these rocks, so I mean they're not rocks, they're bloody boulders 
it's uh, you know, not a lot you can do really. I mean, you know, if I, if I have to cut the session two hours short, so so be it. I mean, it's it's now twenty to three. You know, we've been here about what three and a half hours, four hours, eleven, twelve, until three. About well, three and a half hours. You know, um, I don't really want to go because it's nice weather, isn't it? You know, fishing weather-wise, I mean, for winter, it's, it's lovely. It's just, uh, you just can't hold. I mean, I'm watching a guy further up the beach. It was it was a cast out 11 times in 10 minutes. You know, you can't be doing that, really. You're not going to get a fish doing that. You need some stability in the water with your bait, so, you know, fish have time to find it, like. But, I mean, look at them coming in now, look. See that? Eight to ten rows of rollers. Gary, look at that now. <laughs> Not gonna fish that, are you? Well, I won't come anyway. Yeah, you can't. So many rollers. Yeah. That's the problem we've got here. It's nowhere near like that. No, it's still another two hours. You'll end up on the top. Like you say, there's a cap between the Yeah. 
show you a bit more of this water fellas because <laughs> uh, it's going to be a short video anyway if I disappear but I mean look at these fellas coming in look I mean we just can't hold out it's, it's such a shame because look at look at them with the brick as well they're going to the right with the brick I mean I'm, I'm watching this guy you know, I don't know if he's on Alders page or not but <laughs> he's cast out about 15 times in 20 minutes you know if I was him I'd just bail out like I have I've stopped casting it's pointless See you then, buddy. Yeah, it's just pointless. It's um, you can't hold out. It's pointless, isn't it? I mean, I tried four or five goals. Within 30 seconds, I was beached. So you know yourself, you don't know that. I'll give it another 20 minutes or so. I just want to see if it, if it gets a bit of depth to it and it stops rolling. But I've just heard through the grapevine that Orland Sea is full of weed, absolutely full of it. I can honestly say we've had hardly any zero weed really. I've had a couple of tree tree roots, but other than that it's, uh, it's been alright. I mean it is nice watching the sea like, but uh, well, it's a shame there's no line out in there. I am tempted to throw a bottom back out like, but... It is tempting. Try it on the sea rod, Sonny. Try it on my rod, it's already set up, look. Mine's already set up, it's ready to go. The hook's hanging off, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll put another one on. I'll just waste another bit when mine's ready there. What do you think we should do? Try one if it's not around and disappear or what? I mean, look at that, bloody. Coming in fast now this. I'm gonna have another go in a minute. I'll leave the camera on because I mean I ain't got a lot of bloody video. Yeah, there's a little gap there, isn't there? There's Gary tunneling off. Give me a wave, Gary. <laughs> Gary's tunneling off, he can't hold out either. I mean it's not our fault, like you know, you can only fish in the conditions you can fish in, can't you? This is a shame though. Yeah, I might move up to that gap there. I might give it another fling as I said. Try and let me try and let me, try a bit of bait on it. Let me just have a look. Is that all ready? You are. That's all ready. Yeah, but you get used to casting. I know that's it. I 
looks like it's given already. You're not going to weld them for it. Cast that up. I'm actually now on a bloody clock. Yeah, I say he knows you can't hold out. It's not fishable. The guy up the beach has cut us give up. No, you're alright. Bite one in the car. Is that a bite or have I gone? Surely I'm hooked into a fish. He's seen, he's seen this. I mean, that could be a bite or, or, the, or the weight's gone. Look at it. You never know, mate. I've stuck into it on the edge. I'll never know. <laughs> You saw that fellas, I cast out within what 30 seconds it's gone. I'll show you what damage it's done already. Look at the weight, how many times it's wrapped round. It's just rolling in the surf. There's so many so many rollers coming in unfortunately, so I'm gonna call it a day. <coughs> Send me box back because bloody tarts caught us up. I'm gonna call it a day, it's unfishable unfortunately. Uh, I'm a bit upset about it because you know i was enjoying it so obviously i can't put this video up as a video because it's so short so i'll just put it up as an extra um now i can do about it you know i tried it uh unsuccessful it's one of them bloody things but uh, it's a shame because it's such a nice day i mean conditions wise weather wise it, it's, it's spot on you know, I couldn't have asked for better weather than what I've got now for, for, for a winter session. Man, all that rock, isn't yeah. Wow. For a winter session, it's uh, you can't fault it. But uh, the sea conditions have just been atrocious this season. They have. I mean, it's been hit and miss, and, and you know, it's been hard to find. You know, when you, you actually found a decent sea. I mean, look at the bloody look at that look. I mean, it's bloody horrendous. There's absolutely nothing you can do when there's rollers that many coming in, it's just, there's no way that you'll own, ever. It's been swamped now as well, I mean it's coming in really quick but, you know, you can see how far it's busting out now. So, I'm going to start wrapping away guys, it's tides caught us, uh, well fellas and fellettes should I say, you know, if Gary's wife's watching. Uh, Gary's been with us and yeah he had the same problem as me you know so now we can do about it but until uh, next time fellas and fellettes from Tunstall Sandlamere from me Jimmy Codbites and Danny the supposed fart machine who didn't have time to let any go today uh, it's a very good afternoon from this lovely day but unfishable sea one last look at the sea and it's a goodbye from me